So I was able to take a ride on a nuclear submarine. I have a ton of footage from my trip, but this video will give you a high level overview of everything I saw and did and the basics of a nuclear attack submarine. I spent about 30 hours on the USS Oregon, traveling from Broughton, Connecticut to New Jersey. And during that time, I got to climb to the top of the submarine. I got an overview of how they get their water and make their food and what they do with their waste. And I even climbed inside a torpedo tube, which is one of the most unsettling things I have ever done. I like shaking. We ate pizza and played cribbage and did something called angles and dangles. And I even slept in one of the bunks there. I want to dive into the details of all of this. So if you have any questions about anything that you see, ask them in the comments and I'll go over it in a future video. So buckle up my friends and get ready to dive into this episode of my submarine adventure. Nuclear submarines have been around since the USS Nautilus in 1954 and marked the transition from slow moving diesel powered submarines that needed to resurface every few days because diesel engines need a frequent resupply of fresh air to faster nuclear powered subs which can stay submerged for longer periods of time. There were no stars to navigate by. Now that we have the basics down, let me walk you through my submarine adventure. First, I flew to Groton, Connecticut, which is known as the submarine capital of the world. It earned that title when the company General Dynamics delivered 74 diesel submarines there for the Navy in World War II. And at this point, I really have no idea what we're doing other than the fact that I'm getting picked up by Chief Joshua Karsten, and I'll go ahead and let him explain where we're headed next. We're driving on to uh, Naval Submarine Base, New London, and we're gonna hop on a tugboat and then we're gonna ride that tugboat out into the ocean and hop on uh, the USS Oregon, who's gonna be waiting for us. And I was also curious how one gets into a submarine. I mean, we're taking a boat to a submarine and then what? Do I just jump? The tugboat has a ladder that they extend out to it. Okay, so a ladder. They're gonna give us a, a life jacket and we're gonna walk across and hop down the ladder. This is me pretending that that makes sense to me. I still wasn't really sure how that was going to work, but I figured we'd learn soon enough. This might surprise you, but I had no idea how long I was going to be spending on the submarine. They just told me to pick a flight in the evening a couple of days later, so I assumed I'd be spending one to two days on the sub, but other than that, I really had no idea what the trip was going to look like. And do you know how long the submarine ride will be? Is that the appropriate way to refer to it, a so submarine ride? Final destination is uh, New Jersey. Yeah. 